you're getting real good on nap hero lately lately i need a nap i like naps i meant to take one today before the game but then i looked at the clock and it was nine o'clock already i used to work mm. with a guy when i was tired at work he'd be i'd be all like man i need a fucking nap and without fail every time he would respond he's like god i hope i'm nap so, it was uh, stupid uh, and oh, hilarious. No. <laughs> so just random uh, thing since we were talking about napping, but apparently uh, the character in the newest season of The Boys, uh, the, the the new Black Noir, is mm -hmm. the actual actor is narcoleptic. Yeah, and that's they why put they that in the show. Into, yeah. yeah, into the actual character. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Yeah, which is why that happened. And I was like, oh. I kind of appreciate that. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. that makes it better. That's, That's pretty funny. cool. Yeah. The important Actually, point about this last episode of The Boys is that it had the return of Tyler's favorite character. Amy? Huh? What? Tyler's favorite character in The Boys. I've never seen The Boys. What do so they I call don't... him? Love Gun? Oh. Love Sausage. Love Sausage. That's Love it. Sausage. No, oh, okay. Uh, I think... Uh, what it wasn't a Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol has the the Love Gun guy or whatever. Maybe. In what in like the last season, there is a guy with a cannon. Yeah. Mounted on his crotch. Oh, I don't think I've watched all oh. of it. I've still got to catch it, up. It makes me think of much. those uh, Austin Power movies. The the ladies with the bullets like yeah. 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 I really appreciate how entertaining we all are. Just sitting here chatting about movies. Yes, I noticed that we're live, but I wasn't yeah, we going to say anything. Been. Yeah, we started off with naps and ended with machine gun boobs. Machine As you should. Gun welcome boobs. to the Defenders you of are welcome. <laughs> Talking about yes. Austin Powers. Duh. Hi, Ashley. April says she hates you. You're a liar. Because <laughs> even if she did, she'd say it to my face. Oh, she, she knows she's fucking right. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're here for reasons that are best That's left right. unspoken. Um, we're also here to play Pathfinder 2nd Edition. We're continuing the campaign known as... Uh oh Ashley jangled her foot. Oh, my God. I don't know where my youngest decided that, like, he said, like... Oh, Ashley's saying she came up with it. Well, I can come up with it, but I'm the reason he said Yeah, she invented it. Um, not. Sounds Gee, like some New Age colonialism right there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's gonna, gonna get fucking died. murder me. Uh, anytime like he hits his hand or anything, we go like, "Oh, you jangled your what?" And Ashley just fucking like toe walked right into a chair. Uh, oh, I was gonna ooh, ask. I'm like, mm. is she wearing like a jangly wrist brace no, or no. ankle? She brace? just uh, I mean, people do that. It's fine. Oh shit. Anyway, uh, spaghetti and meatballs is what's on the menu for tonight. No, we're playing the game, this one, mm. Pathfinder 2nd Edition. We're at Grung's house. Yeah, we are. Grung's house. We're going to burn it down. House. You show up, you see the fancy fucking monastery. I don't remember why you guys are here. Why are you here? Timmy. Somebody speaks Draconic. That too. And Timmy needs to, to be adopted. Timmy. Tiny Tim. And you're trying to get rid of Tiny Tim? No, oh. we're trying to teach him how to fight. Yeah, but it, mm. it, it might and, and leave him here for a while. No, so he can learn he can how to fight. Him. I like it. I like it. We're undecided. So it's just another time jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's another time jump. This is great, uh, Grung. As you lead your friends in through the doors, you approach. And it's built into these rolling hills. Um, there's this kind of large central tower out front and on either side are the, like the main entrances into it. And that's where you all find yourselves. You enter in through the closest door. Um, it's, you're standing in a small vestibule thing. I don't Vestibule. Yeah. That's what I said. It's important to have extra bees in there. Huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, you know, looking a little farther in is like the sparring training area where you meant spent countless hours of your youth. Punching. Uh yeah. Um, but as you're walking in, 
Grung, you hear a, a familiar voice call out. Holy shit. Look who we have here. As stepping around the corner. Biff, your arch rival. Uh, uh, not Grung, Biff, my arch rival. Grung, I... I want you to introduce everyone to who this <laughs> is. Alfred Beetlebrox, my monk daddy. Yeah, you're the one who came up with the name. I just uh, had to figure out. Sammy did, but I'll oh, okay. allow it. Okay, you'll allow it. Yeah. Uh, and it was so close to Zaphod. That was, Bronx. yes. Uh, then I'm like, that it's just got to be Sam Rockwell. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. What's he doing these days? Uh, he's doing Side great. He's a monk. Faces. What's that? Yeah, he's that is who that face is. Yes. Okay. I've never seen him bald. Well, I have no have idea who he is. Watch Moon. He's the guy who was in Moon. I think that's one movie. of the only things I've seen him in. Yeah. Go watch the movie. He's also in uh, Iron Man 2. I he think. is in Iron Man 2. He's the um, evil oh, Iron yeah. Man. He's the hammer I mean, guy. a great movie, though. Just saying. Yeah. Iron is. Man 2 is? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, not what we were talking about. <laughs> uh... And yeah, this is this is the monk here at the monastery that really took you under his no. wing. It was responsible. Give, give me the for... old uh, secret handshake. No, fuck that. He slaps your hands tail, away, but his bald and he head. gives you a hug. Okay, brothers, hug. I'll go in for the hug. Yeah, it's because he's got one of those back of the head ponytails. Yeah, you can tell because the front of his head is bald. Yep. So he's got a rat tail. He's like if the guys from Strapping Young Lads braided their hair. Is anyone oh. familiar with that band? They're not Strapping nope. Young Lads. They have very intense male pattern baldness, but that doesn't let them stop them from having some really intense, like, 80s big metal hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, he gives you a hug. He's like, it's fucking great to see you, buddy. Yeah. Like it's been forever. It has. Come on in. We're about to start the meal. We got plenty. All right. Here's my, my, my adventuring party. Adventuring party. Here's Monk Daddy. Uh, Monk Daddy will give each and every one of you a hug. I'm going to still be mm -hmm. like doing this. While he hugs me, I'm like, you just, mm. you just, you smush his face there, Ava. Ava's gonna Ava hiss as he gets close. Super happy about this hug. <laughs> yeah, I'll just kind of tap his shoulders as he comes in for it. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, good. I give him a lick. Oh, well, that's enthusiastic. Thanks, you don't know where it's been. It's a surprise. Ah, uh, you don't want to know where it's been. It's, <laughs> it's not what's surprising. <laughs> And yeah, he uh, he leads you all in. Uh, uh, here, ah, hang on, I forgot how things work. Yeah, I'm glad that we met your dad. Let's go to terms first. Yeah, all right. Now you. we're done here. I'll yeah. kill you. The temple collapses. <laughs> you all die. Yes, uh, we did it. Sealed in. We did it. We destroyed the Tech temple. Was like. On our little chat, he was like, I spent so much time working on this, and I was like, let's go to terms with everyone. They were dead, he right? Did. He did. I'm like, you fuckers, I spent so much fucking time on this monastery. <laughs> oh, no, we fell asleep, and we woke up in terms Oh, <laughs> oh I would feel Three days ago. That. <laughs> Three days ago, before we got there. Uh, players, you can you feel free to follow Tiny Tim with your tokens. Um Grung, you know that through the, the training area is the large kind of like meeting food hall kind of thing. Oh, I collided with the walls. You fucking dick. Got to get good there, Tyler. Hey, Chuck, this is we supposed to be your temple. To no. Okay. Healings for the weak. <laughs> Healings yeah. for the injured. If we've been uh, spending just... any amount of time traveling, everyone should be at full from yeah that's fine shows magical healy powers it's not even magical he's just real no, good at tickling your ouchies in the right way yeah he, mm -hmm. he just rubs dirt on him i know healing dirt 
But yep. Bitey's having a hard time with the door. <laughs> there you go. I also had a hard time with the door, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. God. No, don't this. don't bring the doors back, man. We don't need another. <laughs> we don't need more trauma. Door stuck. Door stuck. It's another door. It's Lock just doors. doors. Put a little pill under your pillow for dirt, man. See, Ashley, I know words. Ashley, put a little it. door. In. Mm. Door, uh, door, no. door. Put a little door under your door for your doorman. <laughs> the doorman doesn't want a door. The doorman's got enough door in his life. He wants money and cocaine. <laughs> and cocaine. Are there Sometimes candles on these tables? Hand. What? Are there candles on these tables? Yeah, you can tell. You can't okay. tell. Because I don't it understand is. the lighting module in this system. Okay. It's fine. You can see I got the fireplaces to do light. Mm -hmm. Do those chairs have faces on them? Yeah. Facey faces. They look happy. They're just kind of sitting there like... Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What has oh, faces so on yeah. it? The chairs. I was I was very confused. If the chairs up at the top. I was very confused at first because oh, I had to zoom in because it looked like they had little faces. Yeah. So, yeah, there. there's other monks sitting around here. Grung, all familiar faces. Uh, you can see those chairs on that ledge up there. They're all sitting empty, and those are where the the senior monks set for like formal ceremonies and meetings and shit. Uh, as you're making your rounds, though, um, you see the head of your order, uh, and she sees you and comes over and politely bows and greet you on your return. Um, you see Cauda Agilis. Cauda Agilis. And she's like, sup, dick. Sup. And like, <laughs> gives you the secret monk handshake. Grung, grung. Can I eat the snackies? And I'm no. A candle. I'm... Oh, yes. Eat, 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 the, eat the candle snackies. No, no, no. It looks spicy. Leave, leave it on fire. Are they beast yeah. yeah. Probably. To leave I'm, it on I, fire. I'm licking it. Well, I'll leave it on fire because then I can lick it. Oh, yeah. It's like a... Ancient monk tradition. Earwax only. Because <laughs> it's so gross. It's a reverse ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream, you scream. No thanks for that ice cream. Uh, I made it rhyme. You did. That's a uh, meal. Yeah, there is a lovely meal that is distributed out from the kitchen. A succulent Chinese meal. Uh, <laughs> no. This is okay. democracy manifest. It's uh, it's just like bowls of like lemongrass and potatoes. Ew. And huge slabs of roasted pork. I eat no fish. Cool. I had the no fish. I appreciate the meal. Okay. What the hell yeah. did you do, April? Did your dog fart? Yes. She's laying right behind me, just ripping ass. She's taking what? off. Wait, did you, did my mic pick that up? No, I just saw your face and you turned around real quick. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't take a mathematician to add those numbers together. Hey, man, as long as you didn't think it was me, it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's just the 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 monastery dog. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. By the fireplace, it burns a little brighter every now and then. No. Yeah. Um. Anyway, she introduce says hi to you and then goes and starts eating. What do you all fucking do? Hey, there's food. I there's more food than what I said. There's actually a, a very wide variety of food. It's well cooked. There's a lot of home brewed ale because mm -hmm. monks make beer. We're in a monastery. Hiring draw stuff. Slash brewery. 
It's a monk place. They all make beer. Mm -hmm. They did. Yeah, they do. There's a monastery in Oregon that we went to that they made fudge instead of beer. Oh, it was great. That's, actually, a, that's a shame. There was actually a movie called The Templar, I think, uh, that was about a European farmer that uh, became a holy warrior in a European monastery. So, there you go. Which featured that's a beer. Cute little gas monster. No, I would not I say understand that they were she's not allowed to. They, I understand that they were not allowed to drink except when they were given beer as a gift. So they would brew beer and then gift it to each other. Yep. That smart. sounds about right. That's smart. Yep. I should look at my notes because I don't know what the fuck we're doing anymore. Yeah, what's happening? We're eating food. Yeah, it's a great meal. You all get a chance to mingle, eat, just hang out for a bit. I'll eat the I, grains of rice. I, I eat until my little goblin belly is all nice and distended. Yeah. Uh, at one point, Payless Kata. Kauda? I don't know how the fuck to say her name. Uh, she will circle around to the group. It is fantastic, because she's a snake. She's got to do yeah. the S's, just like the king from Robin Hood. No, he was the his henchman was the snake. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I'm trying to remember his name. Franklin. Sure. Yeah, oh, we're more. not talking about that anymore, Dan. That's like ten minutes ago. The turtle. Yeah, Yertle. But I like my <laughs> I like my favorite Robin Hood character, Franklin. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> everybody Franklin. knows Franklin. Oh, that is funny Hood. because in the yeah. Monday game that Joe and I are in, I have a two-headed turtle. One head is named Franklin, the other one's named Harriet. Mm -hmm. Someone will get that. Tyler will get that because he just made the fucking joke. You poop. Yeah, my bad. How fucking dare you? I'm sorry. I stole your joke. Yeah, it's fine. It wasn't a joke until I remembered that it was real. Then it was. Listen, yeah. just stop derailing me, guys. I'm having a hard enough time. Are you thinking about? Can't sure blame us. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So anyway, Kauda will circle around. Uh. Come up to you, Grung. Like I'm so pleased to see you return. Will you be staying long? Not necessarily. We have some business to attend to here. That's fine. Absolutely. We're happy to help. Uh. Your Sure thing. I'm, I will gladly look at things. I feel like after dinner the is the time for you to look at things. What do you think about TV? looks like a dragon. Do you read dragon? Yes. <laughs> oh, cool. What about this dragon? No. You need to read dragon. I think Grung had it right. Let's wait until <laughs> after dinner. I do have this? other... Okay. You, short, shooty man... Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> I don't have my reading glasses. <laughs> Closer. Anyway, away. let me say the plot <laughs> hook for things that you need for tonight. Okay. Who amongst your two. group? And she just fucking like does <laughs> like the thing and she like just pokes you a few times with your fingers and like your arms just go numb and your legs go numb and you drop into your chair lesson 37 blessed silence <laughs> anyway are any of you fucking miscreants healers because we could use a little help no Basil. all reverse healers Basil. So, dear little plant table. friend you are adorable, little plant friend. After dinner, um, we'll talk business, and then we have some we have some travelers that are injured, um, slightly beyond what we can provide for them right now, and they're not well enough to travel or to be transported. Would you mind taking a look at them? I don't eat, so I can do that now. Very well. I don't mind waiting a few more minutes for my meal, so that way it'll be nice and cold. Let's go. Okay. 
<laughs> and she just leaves the rest of you and takes Basil. She just back. totally doesn't get the sarcasm. <laughs> Oh, Basil, Basil, Basil. <laughs> she takes you, Basil. I want to see what's going on, so I'm going to grab a glass of water and, and go. just go along. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just carrying my plate with me. I've filled up and just eating as I go. Okay. So Basil's going. Eating the plate. Mm-hmm. You know what? That's right. Necromancers are just another flavor of healing. Yeah. It's all yeah. about timing. The job of the healer it's... is to keep the fighter on their feet. It's Does a, a necromancer not do that? healer. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Basil, Akuro, mm-hmm. and Bidey are going along. Okay, then Aifa, Rowan, and Grung are staying behind. The three of you who are going to check out the, the, the healing uh, get taken into the back of the monastery, like up a couple short things of stairs, down a long, dark hallway that kind of snakes towards the left. Um, and there's some, some chambers down there, little doors open up off the sides. Um, and this room has a couple beds in it. It's got some large, fairly nice looking rugs laid out. And on these rugs, um, you know, there's two or three cots and you can see that there are five people, um, laid out on these cots. Um, they're bandaged. They're very obviously injured and poor shape. They're like bleeding through some of the bandages. Um, Here recently, we've been coming across more injured travelers uh, in the hills as we make our rounds for trading. Um, And those that are too far to, you know, distance wise to take back to a town, uh, we bring here so we can tend to them until the they're well enough or we can take them for proper medical care. Uh, would you mind taking a look at them? Seeing what you can do to maybe help speed along their recovery? Sure. Um, whoever looks the worst, I'll feed them uh, just like a small apricot. Okay. For my cornucopia thing for them to... Yeah. Older man best. laying on one of the, the actual beds in this room. Okay. Um very resistant to eat that like he kind of shies away as you kind of reach towards his face he is laid down on the bed bandaged up his face is fairly heavily bandaged but he definitely kind of recoils as you go to try and feed him he likes the scurvy it's good for you and he, he'll take it from you mm-hmm. and you can see like he he like tries breaking off like a smaller like he's trying to break it down into even smaller pieces um and he very gingerly eats those and as like he's eating those you can see like his lips and his mouth are very heavily like bruised and swollen you can see he's got some teeth on the top and the bottom and the front of his mouth that are broken Mm. Uh, but he very very gingerly eats it and he struggles with it. He almost chokes a little bit, kind of has a hard time eating it, but eventually he, he gets it down. Like twice if you need help. Okay. While he's working on that, uh, let's see. That just does nine healing. And then it also like makes it, it restores like his food or whatever I think too. It counts as Okay. As like rations. Uh, and then, there's four other people. Uh, there was five people. Yeah, four other people. Okay, I'll go over and just start treating wounds. Okay, and you can see that. Oh my! Ooh. As you're treating these wounds, because uh, you you've got your fancy medicine that's always like some form of auto success. Yeah, I forgot to turn that on, but okay. I rolled a 20. <laughs> yeah. So it's like 48 that he gets back. As you're yeah. doing the healing, uh, kind of going around, you can see that they've all got like defensive wounds, arms, hands, trying to fight something off. And they've all got kind of the same. Their faces are all in the same shape, all definitely fucked up in the face mm. area. 
Where did the bombs um, hurt you? Polite way of calling someone ugly. Yeah. Yeah. I guess any of them that seem talkative. Like none of them overtly, seem talkative. None of them seem talkative. Okay. It's they'll they they'll be conscious, aware. Hmm. They won't hinder you, but you you definitely notice. The three of you notice that uh, they make no effort to talk or vocalize. There's a tiny dog. Tiny hey, dog. No effort to vocalize, to talk. They'll mm. moan and groan a little bit, like maybe if you poke in the wrong spot while you're patching them tiny up. Tiny dog. Tiny dog. <laughs> it was a very tiny, tiny dog. dog. Uh what what happened to these folk? You know, we found them on the roads, attacked. That's often with some of uh, the traveling companions deceased, uh, all with the same injuries, all missing their tongues. Oh, oh, oh! We've heard about something like that before, right? Sounds familiar. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, there's that wizard lady mm -hmm. who didn't have her tongue. Hmm. Hmm. Tyler, what's your what's your pooch's name? Chat this is Sadie. Sadie. She's a little toy fox terrier. Going on the abduction list. Yep. Oh no. Can't make your plans. Uh, but yeah, you spend like a good half hour or so patching things up, healing them. You get, yeah, that bit of information. Bye. Uh, it's just like, sadly, none of them have been, we haven't been able to successfully get a lot of information <laughs> from them for obvious reasons. Um, but we're hoping as their strength returns and we may be able to have them write out something. Uh, mm. while joe is reading yep let's cut back to the cafeteria group eating obviously yeah perhaps uh, we're having a fancy dish of tongue in here uh yeah, ox tongue. Know. i don't like <laughs> anything that can taste me back <laughs> ah Ah. Stay away from Bitey, then. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'll look uh, you. I look everything. Tyler. Mm -hmm. You see someone entering the kitchen something? area. Maybe he was in the back responsible for cleanup or cooking or something like that. Wasn't initially in there. And you see entering Patrick. I think Patrick was the guy I don't like, right? That is exactly it. Patrick is the guy you don't fucking like. He always bullied me. I thought I smelled something in here. And I see that someone left a fucking shit-covered orc set at one of our dinner tables. As I, he gets a lot of not pleasant stares. Oh, good. I'm not the, the only person that doesn't like him. He's, he's, his animosity towards you has definitely not won him any friends here in the monastery. He already made the shit joke, so, um, I didn't know they allowed your kind still back here. My kind? Yeah. A human? Yeah. You vanilla ass white boy. You're still dumb as shit. You know that. <laughs> I'm surprised Good to see you too, buddy. And I'm just gonna big ol' like the painful grab his shoulder kind of pat on the. Mm. Yeah, you you hit. He recoils a little bit, and he goes and he finds a chair. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up wind on the far end of the <laughs> cafeteria. And he's just eating, uh, staring at you. He kind of, maybe a few minutes in, he kind of yells out. We've got some other travelers here that I think you'd want to make some time and speak with. 
And they haven't made it down for dinner yet. Uh, and oh. it's kind of at this time, the doors in the back, uh, kind of going up the stairs where the rest of your friends disappeared, open up and you see four other orcs. Oh, enter in. These aren't monks. You don't. Oh, no, you do recognize them. Oh, those were Steve, those. These Steve, are, Steve and Steve. Steve, 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 and Steve. These are those orcs that, that were leaving slave. Tarmsworth that had the other orc prisoner like hung up. Like they were carrying a, a rod, like a fucking log between them and yeah. had this other orc tied to the log. Steven. <laughs> and they walk in. And, you know, they must have been here for a little while because they just make their way to the kitchen. They get their plates. They don't seem to notice you at first. They full, pull up some chairs kind of away from everyone else. And eventually you can kind of notice that like one of them notices you ribs the others a little bit and they all kind of, they're trying to do that thing where they're trying to kind of look, but not. Yeah, that's exactly it. Steve's. Yeah. Rowan, do you yell out Steve's? Oh, I know. It's just, I don't remember their names. Oh, attention to them. Larry, Daryl, Daryl, and my other brother. No, Darryl. no. Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah. So their their names aren't actually Steve, so they're not sure, but they that does the the cat sitting next to the person that they're staring at draws their attention and they kind of lean over and they see that you are yelling at them. And uh one of them kind of leans back, the largest of the group. Gives you a little wave there, Afa. I'm not Steve. Is that the Steves over there? I thought that was Steve. Does that not look like Steve? That's definitely Steve. He gets up and he starts walking over to you guys. And he he pulls up a chair and he sets down. And he kind of like looks between you all. He's got this, you know, real friendly look on his face. Pleasant. Mm. Um, you can tell as he's doing that, he, he's kind of lingers a little bit looking at uh grung for a little longer than the rest of you but then he reaches a hand out uh, name's lorf not steve that's l-o-u-r-f lorf lorf good to know lorf okay uh lorf lorf dungren lorf Dungren. Dungaroos? No, that's Dungaroo is uh, one of the other ones. Dungaroo. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, it's good to see other travelers. What brings you to these parts? How long have you oh, been here? We've been here for, you know, a handful of days. I'm just uh, resting up. These uh, monks up here got good food, good beer, free room. And then we're going to continue on our little journey. You know, I think I remember pointing at you, Grung. We saw you outside of Tarmsworth. Yeah, you were carrying a, a fella. Steven. That's when we identified you all as Steve's and a Steven. Okay, okay. You're an odd bunch. Aren't you? Yeah. Just, you know, I can't help but think that you look a little familiar there. No, I don't. Did you grow up in these parts? Yeah, I grew up here at the monastery. The monastery? Were your parents monks? No, I was an orphan. Oh, you were an orphan. That's rough. That's a hard life. At least you found a good home to grow up in, and they made a real man out of you. So, um... How long have you been here at the monastery? Would you say like X number of years? And he says like the exact number of years that you've been here at God the monastery. Yes. Mm. It's like those Google surveys that know way too much about you. Yeah, that's right. exactly. It. Yeah. It's prying oh, a little bit too hard. The algorithm. So, uh, data mining. 
No, he's been no. data mining. Yeah, it's <laughs> Al Gore and yes, I am looking for a new camera flash bulb. How did you know? You know? Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, do you know, uh, you know what part of Kilgrant your your family's from? Not particularly. Any chance? No. I bet it's further up north. Is it further up north? Or do you not know? I'll tell I, you what. I was too young. I don't remember any of that. Any chance? Do you know how to speak any Jotun? A little bit here and there. Mm, a little bit, yeah. It's a it's a more popular language up in the north. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's strange. I could have sworn you look familiar. I just does the name Grom mean anything to you? It sounds vaguely familiar, but hmm. sounds like it could be a familial thing. Could be. Could be. Well, hey, I tell you what. Good talking to you. I'm going to get back to my friends over there and continue our dinner. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Wait, who's Grom? Hey, don't worry about it. Don't Wait, worry you, about it. You're not but... going to tell us anything about you? You know so much about this guy. Oh, yeah. Well, we're bounty hunters. Oh. I'm hired by, you know, those in charge up in Kilgrad to hunt down and bring traitors to justice like people who sell goods those are traitors t-r-a-d-e-r i'm talking t-r-a-i-t-o-r-s people have me worried there for a minute people there. who have betrayed Kilgrad, sold off our resources allowed access to those who try to take advantage Hmm. You understand. Hmm. Not so, really, yeah. no. But, okay. We travel south of the neck and, uh, you know, collect those that have bounties on them. Is that legal? Yeah. Are you sure? No one stopped us yet, so it must be legal. We've got mm. one prisoner with us that we're going to be taking back up north. What'd they do? Oh, they were selling secrets. Helping smuggled people in and out of Kilgren. I love secrets. They uh, managed to smuggle in a Victoria's uh, secrets. An assassin that tried to hurt some people. <laughs> Not Victoria's secrets. I'm sorry. I was busy answering <laughs> actual questions, <laughs> and I missed <laughs> your tomfoolery. It is a specialty. Anyway, that's what we do. Yeah, we've got one. It's in the, in the cells here. Here in a day or two, we'll continue heading on up north. Anyway, I'm going to get back before my food gets cold. So, it's again, pleasure to meet you all. I'm sure we'll see you around. It's concerning. It's fine as he gets up and he walks away. Bye, Steve. <laughs> do you know grom does anyone here know grom uh why don't you give me a society test oh god i'm actually not bad at those yeah uh, proficiency uses the hand Ooh. Thanks. Uh, that's a good roll. That was a really you good wreck roll. your mind because probably in your youth you were curious about your orcish cult, uh, you know, heritage culture that you came from, and you did some research and you remember uh, the lineage of Grom, son of Grom, from the you know several hundred years ago, um, chieftain of several small villages up on the very northern edges of Kilgrad. Um, and when the current kind of political grouping came in, things became a little more hostile with the southern lands. Um, Grom pushed a little more for the, the peace side, and the, the current Orcish royalty pushed a little more for isolationism, and... You know, 
making sure that Kilgrad was a space for orcs to be able to live their best lives without having to worry about bending to the laws of the southern kingdoms. Uh, and Grom was brutally butchered. His whole lineage snuffed out. So yeah, that's what you would know with a fucking 24. Okay. Well, that's a lot of good information. I'm saving that in my notes. So, it's uh, at about this time, your Healy friends come back, led by Kauda. Mm -hmm. Uh, I found a bunch more people like that wizard. They don't have tongues. We yeah. found uh, we found some orcs. No, oh. and you all oh. look across the room, and there's four orcs sitting there. No, oh, the Steves. Not Steves. None of us are Steve. Those are the guys that had that guy that I wanted to Dolph like Dolph Lundgren or something. Uh, Lord, is the prisoner still Dundgren. with them? Lord Dundgren. No sign of the prisoner. Hmm. I'm going to go walk up to them. Where's your Where's prisoner? Steven. Yeah. Oh, he's locked up in the cells here. That way he can't hurt Where anyone. What? Where are the cells? Ah, I don't know. Uh, oh, when okay. we arrived, the monk said that they could make sure that he was secured in their cells and they took him. Where are you taking him? Kilgred. Where's that? North. North of the neck. Where's that? Hmm. You head north. east for quite a long ways. Uh-huh. And then you turn north. And there's a small stretch of land that cuts through the sea. And then that land connects to another continent called Kilgrad. You know, you're kind of south, far south, aren't you? We were, I swear to God, how many times do I have to fucking explain this? We are bounty I'm... hunters collecting dangerous <laughs> people and returning them to Kilgrad so they can stand trial for their crimes. After Ooh. which they will be thoroughly executed. I, I, I mean, if you're returning, isn't like Tarnsworth here and then there was... We're the returning them to Kilgrad. The we are people, going back to Kilgrad. Then... We came from Kilgrad, got him, and now we're going back to Kilgrad. Do I see the snake monk person? Yeah, she's uh, in there looking at her cold plate of food. Okay, I'm going to go over to her. <laughs> I really thought about eating her food, but I decided against it. You've done I'm quite impressed with your healing skills. Oh, thanks. I like healing people. Makes them feel good. That's a fantastic um, way to look at that. Where's your jail cells? Why? Because there's a guy in there. That is accurate. And he will stay I wanted to go there. see if he wants out. So I was going to go ask him. I'm sure he does want out. But little friend, I will not be releasing him. He is the prisoner of the orcs. And we will not... They've asked us to keep him safe and secured, and that's what we will do until they're ready to continue their journey. But what if he doesn't want to be there? Most people who have committed crimes and need to be punished don't want to be imprisoned. But because we live in a society, it has to happen. Did you ask him if he's sorry? I did not ask him if he's sorry. Sometimes sorry isn't enough. Hmm. If someone does very bad things that hurt a lot of people, sorry doesn't always fix things. And what's even worse is what if they say they're sorry, but they're not actually sorry? Think of well, then they um, wouldn't say they're sorry. People think lie. of criminals as like a bunch of grasshoppers eating all the grass. Well, you can't kill all the grasshoppers, so you got to put them someplace safe where the grass can still grow. That's true. What do you want? Mm. Okay. Money. The grass are my dog is... Yeah, well. Anyway, uh, 
even if he said he's sorry, he probably is lying. And therefore, is not actually sighing, lying, or sorry. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you have you any more that? fruit? What? Do you have any more fruit? Uh, do you want more? I can make more. You can make more. My food's sadly gone cold. And then... I would like a little something to eat, and I saw you could produce some, so I would love to try some. Yeah, I'll make another one of those. Because it only takes, like, to focus, you can, like, get that back after a few minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. would have it back, yeah. Yeah. What kind of fruit do you want? I would love... Would love an orange. Okay. And then I'll make one. Thank you. Uh, will you and your friends be staying the night with us here? I know Grung has his own chambers here. Um, but will the rest of you need space to sleep tonight? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's very well. We've got a few open chambers down where you healed those people. We'll add some extra cots. Okay. Are, are we almost done eating? Because there's stuff we need to talk about. I can eat this orange while we talk. Okay. And she'll head over to the table with the rest of you and sit down at the table with you all. So, we need to talk. You hand her the three pages of Draconic writings. Mm. Or however much we ended up getting. We find a room with a guy that likes to walk in circles, and he wrote a whole bunch of stuff. Under the ocean. A circle into the ground. The this... Stone. That's an odd story. We found it deep under the sea behind a giant broken door. I think there I was like a squid monster out. In there. Yeah. It seems to be killing all the fish. Hmm. There was. All the lizard oh, folk are hungry. A word repeated all over his walls. Okay. He really likes Skrillex. Skrillerix. Skither Skitherix. That's hmm, sounds vaguely familiar, but this here is it is draconic, but it is incredibly. It's a very old dialect inversion. Uh, I am unable to read it, but that's not a problem. That's why we have a librarian. Let's. We have a library. There's a large fucking library, Grung, and I've tried to get you in there reading many a times. <laughs> you thought it was funny. I don't know why I can't read as you're standing there punching century-old manuscripts. <laughs> I swear to God. That sounds like Grung. <laughs> anyway, no, punch paper. we Please. can go talk to some guy. That's an interesting name. Yes. His name is Sum, last name Guy, oh. spelled S-U-M-G-E-I. I really struggled with coming up with a name for that one. <laughs> it sounds like it. Uh, and I'm sure he'll be able to help. So, I've done, finished my orange. Shall we go talk to some guy? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you trying to do with Timmy? Your little orphan friend here? You can tell he's an orphan because he's dressed a lot like Grung was when he first arrived. You can tell yeah, he's, an orphan, like way, he's yes. an orphan. So we brought you one. I prayed. Okay. I guess you got us there. <laughs> What, like a take one, leave one sort of situation? <laughs> he had a rough take, time. Leave a penny, take a penny. He... <laughs> he can... We think his brain is haunted? Well, well haunted we, brains we, are we bad. Killed, we killed the night man. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we killed the night man. Did, Rowan shot it, uh, he says, a number of times, and he said it went away. I don't think we did. That's why I cast light every single night before I sleep. 
I don't trust it either. Timmy, not not the nightman. Is Tiny Tim sitting at the table with you all? Probably. Oh, obviously, yeah. we talk about Tiny think? Tim like he's not there all the time. You all want to get rid of me? No. no. Of I thought you the were nightman. my new family. Oh. The family that loves me that I don't have to kill. I, you're my body. I don't want to get rid of you. Good. But we need to teach you how to defend either. yourself with only I one leg. I love you, Afa, and he gets up and does that little kid run and gives you a hug. Get She'll just with like one leg. gingerly pat him on the head. <laughs> when I... This reminds me of before when I gave my mom a, a real hug and then I had the knife and the nightman told me exactly where to stab. Mm. See, are you guys hearing this? <laughs> I mean, I'm not being stabbed, so I'm sure him? it's fine. Yeah. I do I want to keep him still. Oh, okay. I didn't okay. know. It's not that I want to get rid of him. It's just that we go dangerous places, and he fell out of a window. He did. We go that... dangerous places, yeah. but he's dangerous, too. So, like, it yeah. cancels out. Yeah. I didn't know that, that grown-ups had, like, you know, like, like leg in parts in their back. Leg parts in their back? Yeah. Like, what small leg parts. Because he said, like, you got to... You stab right here, and you'll hit them in their like their 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 kid knees. Oh, oh no. yeah, uh, no, 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 no. That's where your knees go as you grow, and your adult knees come in, so they have to go higher in your body oh, to make room. Yeah, like testicles. Really? Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, is that the same for humans too? Because that's just gross. <laughs> well, my parents are humans because I'm a human. You've got two little kidneys inside of you, too. What happens? I only have one leg. Oh, my well, you don't God. need both of them. You'll be fine. Where well, will you go? You have what well, if his kidney grows back out? Old for kidneys you. Too. Well, if it grows back out, then he'll grow another will leg. Will I grow my new leg? Will I grow yeah. a new leg as I get older? I mean, that makes sense to me, right? That's It'll be, be so tiny. Great. Maybe you. And I don't know. Someday Tiny Tim will be... I could call it him. my strong leg. Oh, no. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so it's settled then. I'm going to stay with you all. Jeez, uh, that's so well. You do still need to learn how to fight, though. Like, actually fight and not I can have fight. to listen to... I can fight good. I still remember things. But what if you uh, could fight better? Can you fight people who are awake and ready to fight you at the same time? Yeah. That's how I got out of the cage in the boat. Oh, yeah. It was the captain. Um, I stabbed him, and then I stabbed him, and then I cut him into pieces so I could put him out the window. You can see why this child needs guidance. Yes, ma'am? <laughs> he needs so much guidance. <laughs> That I would love if he could get out, receive that guidance out in the real world. Not uh, in some for me. dusty, oh, you old, cold, cloistered mon monastery. I mean, it, See, the frogs took good care of me. This is why I said uh, you introduce him to some goblins. You know what? Yeah, the goblins. We still got the goblins. Frogs were always oh. hard to stab. Yeah. Because they I jump. Eat flies. Gotta and it's quick. not like me where like I flies can jump, good. but I only jump when I jump, I go up in the air. And when they jump, they go up in the air and another direction too. Interesting. I'm gonna have what some happened? cold rice. <laughs> have fun. Tiny Tim was describing how frogs jump. Um I wasn't listening. What? I'll be right back. I was hearing I was hearing the noises in my head. Tiny dog, tiny dog. I was trying to figure out what my dog was doing because I hear her tippity tapping. I don't know. My dog's asleep right over there. This her is bed. distributing the fart around. This is for cat. Saber is behind my green screen. Zonked out on my chair. My other chair. Anyway, it says sleep time. 
doubt it. Let me show you to your chambers. Grong, you know where your room is. Yeah. Maybe you should take Basil with you. You have good posters? Uh, I'm going to sleep in my race car bed again. It's still there. <laughs> my, it's like two chariots with a frame in. <laughs> <laughs> my legs way stretched out past the edge of it. <laughs> I'm moving Grung to his bedroom. Oh, yeah, Grung, you used to live here. I, the jail? I don't know, man. <laughs> Grung, you do I know where a, the jail is. I was a good kid. I never had to go down there. <laughs> Uh, you know That's that you had time out and you just don't know any better. You're not allowed in the jail. Yeah, uh, I'm not uh, telling him. Very, very locked. Uh, let's see. Ava. Oh, we lost I'm Jake. very, very good at making things Jake not will be locked. right back. Oh, okay. Mm. You're very good at making things what? Not locked. There's a guy in there and I want to ask if he wants out. And if he's sorry for doing bad things. We need to figure out where it is, though. I'll just ask him if he's lying, and if he says that he's not, that's good enough for me. I'll be a second opinion. I, okay. I don't. I don't. I, I, you know, if Afa goes with, I, I, I trust Afa. I don't she trust any of y'all. I don't even trust myself. Sounds right. Got to sleep that's with one right. eye open. Sleep with one eye open. Okay. Oh You've got to learn how to sleep in the dirt so you can sleep through the cold, cold times. <laughs> and that was really hard, by the God, way. God, did you die? I, I made it. Oh, someone coughed. That was me. I didn't die, unfortunately. I'll try again next time. I'm trying to get everyone to their rooms. Uh, it definitely seems like in the discussion of Tiny Tim. Uh, Kauda forgot all about the need to go talk to the librarian. Some, some guy. guy? I don't know. We'll have to deal with we'll that. We'll have to talk to some guy tomorrow. We'll have to talk to some guy tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, did I hear right that you all were sending Basil to crash the night in uh, Grung's room as well? Yeah. Just in case the, the Steve is reacting suspicious to me. So. Okay. Fair. I'm going to crash there after I find the person with Ava. <laughs> okay. So, because Kauda is very set on showing you all to your chambers for the night. Mm -hmm. um, do you wait until after she shows you and then you slip out to go meet up with Ava? Um... I get brought to my room, and then immediately after I'm brought to my room, I want to go to Ava's room. So, yeah, you would know that where you all were taken up, and then you and Grung went left, Ava went right. Mm -hmm. um, Grung, you would know probably the room they're in. Uh, and she did say it's right next to the room uh, that you treated those people. And give me a second here. Okay. I'm going to use Rowan. Yeah, because he wouldn't, like, hide and then slink away. Like, Basil is literally incapable of lying. Like, Faye Pax cannot oh, lie. We, it is we, not. We, we know. Yeah. <laughs> so he wouldn't, like, stealthily slink away. He would just oh. get brought to his room, and then he would immediately leave and go to Ava's room. Turn around and walk out behind her. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, so here's the spread of what's revealed on the map right now. Here is and so because this map's fucking giant because I'm an idiot. Yeah, it is. There's Grung's room. Away. Oh, good god! Yeah, that's, that's a long amazing. ways away. Here's the room that you all treated the people, and here's everyone else's room that's crashing there tonight. Where's the room? Uh, flash the room that we. Treated people? Right there. Uh, oh, so it's oh, literally right see. next to us. Right next yeah. to us. So I wonder Aoife, if somebody's going to come punch our farther. faces. Can yeah, you flash in the hallway by... Aoife. What? Joe, you're way down you... here. Yeah. 
I didn't see on the map possibly. where you flashed. Hang on a second. Why are you asking Mount people to flash you? Come on, man. The circle yeah. is where the people were healed. And the X is where your friends are at. I don't think I can see it because of the uh, fog of war. How fucking yeah. dare you? I, I can't see my token at all. <laughs> what the shit sticks? I can it's see the sin. room that I, that we were in, but yeah. And I tried to refresh. I... Oh, you're uh, still in that room, buddy. You never got oh. moved. Oh, that would be why. I'm just the fuck are apparently you? left behind. I'm just you know, he's just I'm sitting on the table. Yeah. God damn it! You blended in with the candle. <laughs> I just put one on my head. <laughs> just sat on the table. You're still that seems table. completely believable. <laughs> yeah. Master of disguise. Hang on, you're heading that direction. Oh yeah, he wouldn't be able to see the other way. He's just going to check every door, isn't he? There you go, buddy. You're in the room with everyone else. Yay! Are you just going room to room? <laughs> yeah, looking for Ava. 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 You're opening doors Ava. like there's yeah. other monks. Mm -hmm. That room that you entered right there. Uh, mm -hmm. you can see no one's in there currently because the other orcs were still in the in the dining area, like playing cards or something like that. But you can see all their traveling gear and stuff is in this room. They are There's... right next to Grung. Oh, okay. Is there any keys in this room? Give me a perception test. Okay. I'm going to get us in so much trouble. 22. Uh, you see some locks, you see some chains, and those look like the chains and locks they used to ch strap that orc prisoner to that pole they were carrying him on. Uh, and you can see in a boot, you rummaging, rummaging through, you can see in a boot there is a small ring of keys. Okay, I'm going to grab that. Okay. They look possibly like they may be the keys to the locks that were with those chains, but you know, it could be for this prison here in the monastery. I was told that he was put in the prison by them. So okay. these must be the keys. Sure. Sure. So what is everyone doing? You were shown to your rooms. You guys uh, just hear doors like opening and closing in the hallway as I'm looking Kata for Ava. Definitely made sure that Tiny Tim went with you all. Yep. Oh, I'm like immediately going to sleep okay. friendly reminder that everyone gets a hero point it is 1107 everyone gets a hero point that is accurate no one told me you could speak french yeah it's a skill um what i hear all of the doors creaking open it's and way on the other side of the monastery oh okay okay Soon. Oh, so they're like in the other wing? They're in the yeah. other fucking wing. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what that seems. Yeah. yeah, I'm just opening this door and walking in. You like there's a monk sitting there meditating, doesn't seem to notice you. Okay, I close it and leave. Open this door. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just keep going through <laughs> trying there's to find a, Aipha. Another monk doing like stretches, like hello, little plants. Hi, you're not Aifa. Uh, bye. Bye. I close the door. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and find Aifa. Um, I feel like I should step out and like start trying to figure out where it is we're going. Yeah. Uh huh. So flying if, down. Yeah, if you you head out of your your room, it's just a matter of minutes, uh, moments. Before you see little Basil coming down the hallway, walking up to just some random door, opens it. Hi, bye. Closes the door. Basil. Basil. Oh, hey, there you are. I'll like very happily jingle the keys in my hand. I found the keys. Come here. 
here. Bring him here. Bring him here. I'll go over. Um, I will have Basil duck back into the room with us. Yeah. And I'm going to take out my wax key blank. Oh, yeah. Make a dupe. Yeah. And make a dupe of the key. Okay. You do. Heck yeah. Do we know? Do we, where are we going? I don't know. They're just Isn't in the jail. Like right? Isn't it like right next door? Isn't it like where? You, where were did? Where did you heal those people earlier? Where'd you help? There, they were healed uh, in the room, right next door. Yeah, yeah. So it has to be down this hallway, right? I don't think they were in jail though. No, but it has to be one of these doors. You two do it. We're trying. We're trying to find the jail. Why? I need to ask if the guy wants to be allowed out. I want to find out what he did. Ooh. I didn't want you to ask him already. If it's the same guy from town, I thought we asked him. I don't, I don't think we got to, because I, I wanted know. to. Yeah, they... Steve's didn't let us talk to Steven. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I wanted to. You guys said it was going to be a bad yeah. idea because it was going to start a fight or something. Yeah. But well, now Steve's we get to. Like assholes. This is like the best place to fight. Yeah, and Grung's home. Best place yeah. to fight. Well, they've got like boxing rings and stuff like that, right? Like they've got like mats. They've got cat butts Let's in their faces. Start a fight in a monastery full of monks and orcish bounty hunters. I love it. If I wasn't supposed to talk to him, I wouldn't have been able to find him again. Oh, there's a cat. That's true. Clearly it was meant to be. Yeah. We're gonna go start opening doors to see if I can find. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you start opening doors. It's really the same thing. Like you open the door and there's a monk in there. What's the store down here? Do you open it? Go open it. I'll try to. You want me to Can come I? with you? What is this? That's fun. Uh, is you that? open that door, Rowan. If you want to go with him, go with him. I mean, and it you sounds see, like a fun time. It looks like an office. It looks like an office, and there's a monk sitting behind a desk there. Oh. Hello, kitty. Because you're a cat. My name is Ava. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, Ava. I am Sum. Oh, hey, Sum. Hey. Hey. Some guy, right? Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm some guy. I got some things for you to look at. I love looking at things. As long as you don't take your pants off, we're fine. I'll take my wig off. <laughs> What about the health? Yeah, he just pulls his hair right off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You take your wig off, and from your wig, you produce a, some papers. It's a cool party trick. Yeah. Oh, these are old, old version of Draconic. Hmm. Yeah, written by a guy like rocks in circles. Yeah, this is like the beta release circles or something. Circles or something, yes. Who's Skitherix? Some you... DJ? Oh, no. I don't know of any DJs know. named that, but that's fine. I've heard that he turns tables or something. There's a lot of writing. We wrote down as much as we could, and then we wanted someone that could read it. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Well, let's see here. Hmm. And he, he's going to spend a few minutes. Like, give me... Give me enough time to read these so you can go gather any of your friends that aren't here in case they want to participate in this portion of the story. Ah, okay. I'll leave them with you so that you can ponder them well, while we like... gather the rest of the party and don't start a fight here as we break into jail. Uh, while he's like kind of lost in thought, looking at the scrolls, Basil's going to ask him where the jail is. Oh, it's off the cafeteria. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, I'm gonna listen, but I'm very sleepy. I'm still sleeping. Uh, I I need to sleep this food off. Everyone, okay. Uh, I'm bringing Grung over, and then you all fuckers can decide what you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll stick around because uh, Basil does want to hear, like, what the writing and stuff is if he's able to do it quick. Okay. So yeah, Ava and Basil and. Uh are probably up to no good and we might want to keep an eye on the ground. Mm. I mean, this is your place. Kind of. Oh. And you all can move into this room because you would have. I'm always up to good. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Grung, I presume they're going to get you because they don't want to leave you out. Well, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you would know, looking... Oh, hang on, I forgot. There's something I can do that I didn't do. Glad Chuck went to all those separate to make this huge map that... Uh -huh. For all role playing encounters, mm -hmm. yeah, because that's all it's going to be tonight. It's all it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Really, it is because, like, it's like I just need a picture in my head. Initially, I was just going to fucking steal the map from that one game with the dragon guy, uh, and the, the oh, yeah. temple with the people with the beards, but all the fucking maps of them suck butt. So yeah. I'm like, I'll just make one. And then it turned into a fucking monstrosity that I regret forever. Par for the course. Um, That's how you know you did it right. Grung, mm -hmm. you would remember. This is the room where you would go to uh, punch some scrolls every now and then. Yeah. Uh, also known as a library. I had books that I liked to punch because they were extra hard. Uh, you do know that the library is very well secured and locked. Uh, some guy does have the keys to get to the different chambers of the library uh, because some of the knowledge in them is either old and fragile or dangerous and dangerous. Hmm. I'm done clicking buttons. No more button clicking, Chuck. Good enough for today. Uh, yeah, and you all would look south in this room. Not real life, John. Hmm? Uh, I was making a joke. I said you could look south, and you turned and looked the other way. Oh, that's fair. Uh, yeah, locked, barred doors. And you can see it opens up into a much larger library. Uh, but yeah, some guy's just like, okay. Figured out what it says. Oh, all right, so... That was fast. Oh, okay. So this one here is talking about a Kraken mm -hmm. and how it's been missing for a while and that he's, other fish have been seen in the water. Mm. Uh, oh, he started swimming in the water to confirm that the Kraken's not there. Gathered some supplies. Something about taking the skins of the fish and using it to make a like a blanket because it might be daylight outside. And he's going to escape. Okay, that's oh, weird. Why do you need a blanket for the day? Be a vampire? Oh, oh shit. You need a blanket for night. Oh, well, <laughs> hang on. This one here explains a little more, I think. This one's the story of a... Uh, Jack and Diane. Oh, he, this, he references his name is. Oh, yeah, here the person who wrote this. They got his name here. Gitano Dragonetti. Putting it's that, an Italian dragon. Yeah. Oh, no. Talking about. Oh, he's talking about Vetus. Okay. And you all would know Vetus is a land way the fuck far to the east, past the Dwarvish mountain range. Uh, and it is the Dragonlands, the lands where fucking dragons rule everything. Uh, and it's actually, you know, it's very closed off, very hard to get in there, very hard to leave. Uh, but supposedly things are pretty good there. As long as, you know, your section of the land isn't ruled by an evil ass dragon that likes to burn things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about there's the Black Marshes. Oh, and he was a member of a cult. Mm. Cults are fun. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and they mm, they worshipped an ancient dragon by the name of Scytherix. Okay, so that's oh. where Scytherix comes from. This guy worshipped a dragon. Cool, mm. cool. Oh, yeah, he got in trouble, though. He got caught stealing ancient knowledge of Scytherix. Oh, and he learned how to steal the emotions of other people. Giving himself power and longer life. I don't like that. 
That sounds oh, okay. And once they figured familiar. out, once the other people in his cult figured out that he was stealing from Skitherix, um, yeah, they drove him out. And he spent centuries traveling the land, eating people's emotions, getting stronger. Oh, he made it to the Sunset Lands. He's talking about us here. Okay, then he met a local monastery. Um, and, oh, the monks, they kicked his butt. Couldn't kill him. So they trapped him under the sea with a monster. As well, a that was probably you guys. Well, we probably, our, our order is... You know, we, we do study the ancient and draconic fighting arts, and we are, you know, dedicated to the ancient metallic dragons until Paizo retcons it. Mm -hmm. So you put a man in a box and forgot about it? Yeah, it happens. Do you guys know how to put a big things? octopus kraken back inside of a room? Oh, you know, if our did order it did it, it's probably we wrote about it somewhere in a book here in the library. Mm. Oh, yeah, this other no. one, it's complaining more about the Kraken. Oh, yeah, 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 this last one. Yeah, the monks prisoned him here, and the only thing he had to eat was the Kraken. But luckily, the Kraken was very enraged about being trapped as a prisoner. So at least he ate well. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Did this give any indication how far away he'd have to be to, to eat emotions? No. Hmm. No, it doesn't. No. Because, I mean, what there was a village where people were unnaturally happy when they should have been sad. Remember? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah, I liked that village. They were really nice. Yeah, but they were odd the next day, but... You don't, you don't think he made him maybe was there or passed through there. They had a lot of emotions. They were really happy. I don't think he ate those. Uh, had some emotions. Hmm. Well, maybe he eats like the bad emotions and then the good emotions take over. Or he just wanted to change from rage. And I like that. Eat some grief. Despite all of his rage, he was still just a vampire in a cage. Yeah. Was he a vampire? Is that what they, what kind of? I don't know. It's one of you said Maybe it. Maybe he's so really nice. Gets rid of people's he's an sad. emotional vampire. Hmm. Dates with us. He sounds nice. Anyway, is that all you wanted? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I, yeah. So. I guess if you could figure out how your people put a kraken inside of a box, we need to do that. Uh, yeah. That'll take some work. Can't put them back. That's fine. Now. We can wait. Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> uh, In exchange for your services, some guy, we will offer you uh, three gold. Uh, Just put it in the collections box when you leave. It's hanging okay. off the front door. Fine. So I don't really have to worry about money, money here. Oh, that's great. Food's I mean, provided. Um, all the books nice I ever want to read. Yeah. yeah. And now you know what to read about. Kraken hunting. Yeah. Putting them in boxes or killing them. What's your favorite subject? Um, I really like studying like fighting manuscripts mm. and romance novels. Oh, I can get behind that. Mm -hmm. that's nice yeah there's a, a special kind of uh, romance novel that I haven't gotten any new I haven't been able to you know pick up any new books here recently on it but it's uh, it's a story of a of a monster hunter chasing down monsters, killing them to save people, and he meets an injured werewolf. Mm. Mm. And some he, like, nurses it back to health, and they fall in love. It's really great. 
I'm enjoying the look on April's face. I, you know, I'm trying to figure out if this is like a reference to something. It's not a point. reference to anything, but there are okay. actual romance novels that very much involve oh, yeah. monster fucking. Uh, yeah. I was also trying to be like, is this something I should recognize? I was waiting yeah, no. for an elaborate this Twilight is, reference. I, I, know. So, I, I like, thought it was going supernatural. Oh, yeah. Mm. It could have also been that really old vampire wolf werewolf movie that I can't remember what it was. That's it. Uh, wake Me Up Inside. Uh, Dracula Meets the Wolfman. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, the, the one that Evanescence had a yeah, song in. It's a reference to Beauty yeah. and the Beast. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, ends up that the werewolf's name in the books is Renesame. Neat. That's the creepy baby's name from the Twilight series. Yeah. Uh, you named my baby that, so. after the Loch Ness Monster? I only know it because Ashley watches those movies. Uh, I've never seen them before, but I'm apparently supposed to be subjected to them next weekend. They're terrible movies. No, You're I'm sure. You're suddenly feeling ill. No, they're worth watching. They're terrible. The and soundtrack slaps. I once got that watched one the first Twilight movie. at Chuck's at my and it place, left me emotionally numb. Yeah. <laughs> it couldn't be any worse than every other day, but you know. That's what happens when you hang The vampires out with took your emotions. Oh, no. Like, sure <laughs> as hell <happened>. did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I was trying to, I'll have to see if I can find it. There there was an episode of an animated show that had a love affair between a woman and a, and a fish monster. Oh, oh that's her, that her one kink. movie by Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, it's kind of like the movie, but it's done in cartoon form and it's much shorter. It's only like 30 minutes. It's from uh, Camp Camp. Okay. The Shape of Water, is that the name of that movie? That's, that's it. The name of the that's movie. it. Okay. Because they Ooh. describe in The Shape of Water how the fish man's dangling extends using Maybe. hand gestures you know what man i didn't ever think that monster fucking would be in the mainstream but there it'd be it is here we are it sure is yep. we are truly in the most cursed timeline yes we are yeah listen it's not that big of a surprise where you get fucking these true crime documentaries and shows and like people like oh fucking ted bundy ah. And like people want to when you them. consider that people are the real monsters, monster fucking has always been mainstream. <laughs> it's it's right, just Scooby-Doo. another flavor of bestiality. Yeah. This episode brought to you by Bad Dragon. <laughs> Bush is worst. Bush is worst. Um, I'll never tell my family secret. Anyway, Bush is Where worst. are we? What happened? I don't fucking know How anymore. I don't know. Basil's Somebody... going to leave and start walking was... towards the cafeteria. Yeah, same. Basil's going towards the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. Now, Grung, you would hear it's off the cafeteria. You know there's some doors in the cafeteria that no one's allowed to go to except for, like, the head monks of this place. Oh, that's right. Now we have a problem because Grung is here with us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's probably good I, that uh, you know he is. Cat, I would not call any of them punk werewolves or vampires. They're. You know what? What? Oh wait, no, she was speaking directly in reference to uh, Twilight. Never mind. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> I'm trying to go to the cafeteria. Yeah, it's a long ass map. You got to walk clear over there. <laughs> I'm following these fools now. That's true. That's true. Mag, uh, dragon lineage sorcerers. How do you think they got there? Which doors look the biggest and scariest? Uh, well, the doors that you're on the side of your room, uh, you could see people going in and out of when they're bringing food. They're large. Not scary. Uh, these or these? Uh, the, the lower ones. Right That's the uh, wine room. Okay. Is it over off of the training room? Uh, I think right here. Some guy said it was off of the cafeteria. Oh. Uh. 
Are you all catching up in this ridiculously large map that I made? <laughs> I'm working For really on no reason. Do these doors over where I'm at, uh, do they look like prison -y I doors? I don't know, Jake. I gotta zoom in 800 feet. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, like they a, are very uh, large, the library map. reinforced, locked. I think these are prison-y doors, fellas. Yes. The door that you're at is a reinforced wooden door, locked. Are the Steves around here? No, no sign of them. Uh, the cafeteria is kind of cleared anyone? out at this point. This you can the... hear there's plenty of activity. You mean down south in like the training area that you initially walked through. It's one of these rooms. Very well could be. Can I can try and get the store open? Uh, it sounds like a thief oh. roll. It clicked when I clicked on it. God damn it. Shit's supposed to be locked. I'm gonna. Uh, it is locked. I don't think a 13. Not to Ava. No. Yeah, hero points. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't think a. I don't there think are, a 13 will in cut fact, it. hero points. Oh, that 25. looks good. Yeah, you unlocked that door. <laughs> oh, it's crypt. We should maybe not be in here. What's this other door? You look on the north wall, and there's another large steel reinforced door with a heavy lock on it. Jiminy. I wonder what could be inside. Yeah, right? I want to find what out. What are you doing in here? Maybe I'll, like, find Some somewhere to hide in here bones? and, like, keep a I lookout. More bones? Maybe wait. Maybe hold off on that. Hey, you, sure? you unlock the door. Oh, oh what the fuck? That's fine. As you look inside this room, you can see there's a strange stone portal which has like this watery purple membrane that is glowing and letting out this radiating purple light, flanked by two large, angry, draconic looking statues. In front of this doorway is a deep, spiked pit, and there's three large ballista the big ass fucking siege crossbows pointing That's at how they got to the, this to the door. What the? Uh, Grung, you don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> no, I, I have no they, idea. Then. I was wondering how they got from all the way here to all the way over there. I mean, that seems like a long walk. Maybe they just made a uh, portal or something. But it seems like they're trying to keep something from coming out yeah. from there. Maybe it's a. Maybe we shouldn't is mess this with what it. prison looks like. Yeah, this is no. looking like a whole lot of not my business. I don't. But there know. is another door. This doesn't look like prison to me. You do see that there is a door on the right hand or left hand wall of this room. Definitely doesn't look like a prison though, with this purple fucking light and this strange portal. It looks like they're guarding it from something. Yeah. Pretty true. Can I roll an occultism check to see? Yeah. Does it look like happy thing. purple light or sad purple light? This looks like dangerous purple light. 13's not going to learn you anything. Uh, I might hear a point that because I had... <laughs> Basil's rolling to see if he gets good or bad vibes from the color of the portal. Oh, I, got, <laughs> I did it, worse. Is it like a Barney colored or... Basil, yeah. it's very neutral vibes. It's not bad vibes. It's not good vibes. Hmm. Hmm. This is I like the statues. Light. The Ava, that's still too. not enough. Yeah, no. I could. Do we have any rerolls? Uh, I don't Basil, know. You got maybe hero points? You should ask the the head lady of the the snake lady. Oh, we have two rerolls. I might. Oh use yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow what the big curse room with all the siege weapons in it is. Maybe a uh, nat twenty. Oh, a natural fucking twenty. That's a twenty-seven altogether. I gotta get the screen chat back up. I gotta minimize. For some reason. Um, Afa, you dig your... Because you're a bard. You know lore. You know occult shit. And you remember hearing stories of the ancient times 
when more of the world was ruled by dragons, uh, they constructed items known as dragon gates, which were essentially doorways that passed through corridors outside of time and space that they used could use to instantly travel between any of their dragon gates. You would know probably walking through this, you would probably end up somewhere far, far away. That's super cool, but it's not the prison, so I'm going to check out the other door. Okay. <laughs> uh, this door doesn't appear to be locked. It's a hallway. As you look, you can see there are barred doors, four of them. I might go you know in the what hallway. that portal is, Afa? It's it's a it's a dragon gate. It's a dragon gate. Basically, it teleports you to another place, somewhere hmm. really far away. I don't know, man. I don't know where it goes. I don't know what they're trying to keep from coming out of it. Hmm. Okay. Is this the prison? I got. It. It's the prison. Me. It's the prison. <gasps> In the back the cell. See a locked. Wait, what? They found the prison. It's just off the side of the room they're in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't even see that door. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, in the back cell, sleeping on a pile of hay. Uh, you can see that at work. Steven! Steven! What? Oh, oh shit. Basil's gonna pull himself up to the or is it like bars or is it's it like bars. Uh... Okay. bars. In the it probably fits by any standing. What's by up, John? Bitey is uh going around the ballistas and I the statues that. and is going to the back of the gate. Yeah, okay. He wants to see behind it. What's what's over there? That sounds like a bad idea. Kick cat. Or is a cat idea. More cat. He wants to see if the texture is loaded on both sides. Yeah. Uh -huh. The texture <laughs> is loaded on both sides. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, How uh, responsible of them. Whitey is going to go up to the edge of it and just kind of poke his head in and see what happens. <laughs> oh, fucking damn it, John. <laughs> ah, Whitey, you can't uh, eat light. Whitey, <laughs> no. My nose. No one else is over know. there. Yes. Vida, you gotta give me a reflex save, man. Oh, that's fair. Fuck. That's fair. God damn that Bidey. If I die, I die. It's okay. Only his head teleports. <laughs> he gets Did decapitated. You just get handed a little turd? What do you got, Joe? What? Oh, it's your headphone. I thought you were like <laughs> handed, like I just saw something <laughs> tiny and black. I'm like, it's like did someone find like a rabbit turd or something? Like a little goat nugget? No, Bush turd no it's my, my headphone. It's it's a raisin. Like that. That's not well, enough. in your ears. <laughs> it's a raisin because he's so small it looks big. Uh, Raisins, bush turds, same thing. Same difference. Yeah, John, that's not enough. Uh, you know, let me spend a hero point. We also have bonuses. Or and you said reflex save? I rolled the reflex wrong save. save. Anyway. Oh, you rolled the wrong save anyway. You... Not enough. You know, I don't know. Try it one more time. You're short by one. We have we have points that you can add. Bo bonuses. You audience yeah. bonuses. All right, I'll, I'll 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 put a plus one on it. I'm just being curious. Uh, you poke your head through, and as your head breaks through like this strange you feel this odd tingling sucking sensation Ooh. on like your face and you are looking into a dark dungeony room littered with bodies Ooh. um you can see that there's something shifting in the shadows maybe it's the shadows themselves it's very dark very very cold i have dark vision yeah, even, I mean, it's oh, with the dark yeah. vision. Yeah, this is a very large chamber you're looking in way out at the edge. Something large kind of slithers off and detaches from the wall mm. as the coldness starts to intensify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good God, man. 
Mm, I don't think we should go meet, through that. That seems like a real you, bad place. Did you meet Skrillex? <laughs> <laughs> As you pull your head out, the light changes colors. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're I'm gonna sure know that's we were important. here. Anyway. I'm sure and that's not important. Pops up on the on the subwoofers. Oh, it's green. Oh now. no! Oh, like that. <laughs> well, that means you get to poke your head in and go somewhere different. Do you? Do it again, buddy. Do it again. <laughs> Wait, Do it no, the light comes back you to go, the purple. You, we can flip back to the group and the, okay, the group. group yeah, and you're, Basil, you're looking in and you can see this sleeping orc. Psst. What? What the shit? I I saw you a long time ago outside of Tarmsworth. I remember you. Yeah. Do you want to be a prisoner? No. See, I knew he didn't want. Oh, Why no. are you a prisoner? <laughs> I'm a political prisoner. I didn't actually do anything wrong. I was just helping people either escape Kilgrad. Or people who are separated from their families get back into Kilgrad. Okay. Uh, what are politics? It's <laughs> the rules and procedures used to rule a nation. What are procedures? Did you do anything bad? I didn't hurt anyone. I didn't steal anything. I just help people escape dangerous situations or I help people get home to their family. That sounds good. Yeah, that doesn't sound I'm not a bad thing. person. I've never hurt anyone. Are you lying? No. Do you want to let him out? Uh... There's a portal over there that you can hide in. Oh, no, that's the best <laughs> idea. <laughs> and the light no. changes color no. behind you. <laughs> that's the best idea. And then they won't be able to catch you there. I will, um... I, mm. I'd rather not. I'd rather just go home. Okay. Can I try and pick the lock? Yeah. I'm going to start trying the keys. Your keys <laughs> I do don't not think work. any of them work. <laughs> That's not going to work. It is not going to work. I'll use my last hero point on it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Do, do you want to have, can I donate a hero point? I'll allow it. All right. Thank you, I'll Dan. Do, uh, I'll do guidance, too. Oh, there you go. You shouldn't help with these shenanigans. Shenanigans? Whatever. What I'm shenanigans? Always... Y'all are a bunch help of out with shenanigans. One day, we're going to visit the Goblin Homelands or something. 16 and... will pull it. Okay. And it will be shenanigans. Thank God. You're not far off from the Goblin Homelands. I know we're not. And John. Yeah. You do remember talking to a group of goblins, right? I know. And what do those goblins tell you? Uh, I don't remember anything. They're something cool about something. Oh, yeah. Good thing I they have... They were going to go somewhere to steal something. From the monks, we think. Yeah. Uh, well, they wanted to, they wanted to get a punchy manual. Mm -hmm. for, for So they can fight like the monks. Yeah, they were working on a project to get a book from the punchy people I'll to have teach to go them to punch go real back good. and talk to some guy. I bet if you gave them one, they would love you forever. And maybe we could get a maybe they they've got a romance novel in in the Tarmsworth or something. And we could treat it. Punching for lovers? What? Yes. Hey, man, you never know what people are into. Listen, all you're going to find in there, I know what's in that library. If you're looking for a romance novel, the only one that's left is Tongue Punching for Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds like the kind of book that Bitey would read. I saw April taking that drink, and I'm like, this is the perfect time. Now. <laughs> Strike now. <laughs> Punched in the Butt Mama Hugo Award. <laughs> Where else? What else? <laughs> is that by L. Ron Hubbard? It is. Are you a tax auditor? It's the one guy who just writes books about getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> Chuck Tingle? I can't remember. His name. Yeah, it's there you go. Man. Chuck Tingle. Just that uh -huh. one guy. He's just it's, one guy. Just, just that one. Yeah. yeah. Just one. that one. Bye -bye. Sexy, one. Sentient airplane. He's got that shit copyrighted. Oh, no.
He really does. Yes. Did you break your nail? It's a monopoly. No, my little hedgehog. His I don't know if you can see it. His eye fell off, and now oh. he's just a oh, no. <laughs> Not the hedgehog. He's only got one eye. I hate it when my eyeballs fall off. Well, now you can give him a little eye patch. Oh my god, That's I'm going to have to. Do you want an orange? I'm going to ask the guy. I would love an orange. Well, make an orange. Thanks. Uh, Afa, yeah, that 16 will unlock the door. Perfect. All right. We got to fucking skedaddle. Actually, no, we can't because, ooh, can I cast um, disguise on this guy? Because he's not going to be able to just walk out of this place. Why not? Mm -mm. Oh, because he's got to cut through the training room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wonder. Could I make him look like Grung? The disguise is typically typically good enough to hide their identity, to but not mm -hmm. to impersonate a specific individual. You could make him look like just some random ass monk. Might do that, or, yeah. Or generic orc number a thousand. Change his appearance of clothing and worn items. Yeah. Make him look like a Steve. Yeah, make yeah. him Steve appearance five. and voice. It does. Appearance and voice. I mean, you could make him look like a human, and no one would even suspect then. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, just a random human monk looking dude. Thank you. This is fantastic. Thank you for the orange little plant friend. You're welcome. Have fun with politics. It's a pain Thanks. in the ass. I'm going to head back to my home in Rivertown. Or Lake Town. I don't fucking remember what I called that Lake shit. Lake Town. <laughs> Lake Town? Yeah. Going if back to somewhere. If you ever find yourself there, feel free to look me up. I'm in your debt. I'll gladly help did out he, whatever way you can. Did he tell us his name? He's about to. Deep. No, I gotta get to God damn it. His name has already been decided. I know. Oh Steven. it's in the quest document. Orcish fugitive in the hidden part for GMs. Uh his name is Kornak. Kornak. We're getting that immediately. Steven. Cornack of Lake. Yeah. yeah, like I wrote down my notes here. Cornack equals uh, Steven. Way far away. If we look <laughs> at the world map. <gasps> I got so many oh, that's documents so far away. Yeah. So, yeah, you all are essentially. Let me zoom in for the chat. You all, well, not essentially, you are where right on the S of the Sunset Lands. Mm -hmm. Lake Town is way the fuck down here. Oh, shit. Oh, God, yeah. It is way the far the fuck away. Uh, and if you would remember, on the opposite side of Lake Town, a little ways in, is a keep. I was known as Heroin's Keep. <gasps> That's basically ours. I've heard of that place. Yeah, it was yours. Wow. Wow. So yeah, he's going to gladly leave. He'll sneak out and he's fucking gone. He's got an can, orange. He's good to go. Can I lock up the doors as best as I can behind sure. us? I'll let you roll those over and you can, you can relock. I mean, they're like essentially like large padlocks. So you just push them closed and they relock. Oh, okay. Fucking skedaddle. Why is the and, light green? Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah Ava wait, wait. and Basil, you would enter the room and like it's the light's green. Why is it I green? Like it. it wasn't green. Like he tried better. to eat it. And it, tried green. To eat it. I, I just wanted to put my head in it and see where it went. So and it went what? to a very scary looking place. I can see in the dark really well. I couldn't see the other side. But there are a lot of bodies and there were shadowy things moving around, slithering around. So yeah, I don't think we should go through it. No. I don't I don't like Actually, I have a great I idea. Got there. What? What's your idea? It's, I don't know fine. Why it's, it's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. They'll think the prisoner escaped through the port. 
Oh. Oh. You're fucking smart. Yeah, we should go you are. quietly. Back I mean, back to our it's rooms, not so like much that I'm smart, it's that I can see the future. Sometimes I can see the future. God okay, Birdman. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start, start making creeping. my way back to our rooms. Creep, creeping back up to my room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sense we will get caught and our asses beat if we don't return to our room. Yeah. Shut the doors behind you. Rooms. Yeah, how do we lock the doors? You just oh, shut them. Gosh. They're just padlocks. Yeah, for oh. those locked doors, they're just easy, padlocks, easy. essentially. Yeah, you just close them and they lock. Yeah, I'll be sure to clickety clackety on my way out. Thanks, A5. Thanks. God, these hallways. Oh, so long. So long. <laughs> In the morning, I do want to talk to some guy. Provided nothing happens between now and then. Oh, hey, Tim. He's still there... in the room. He's napping. He's sleeping. It's late. Oh, okay. he... There's probably not windows Child. in these, right? There's not, no. <laughs> are, are you going back to Grung's room? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm just going to sleep here. There's no reason to walk all the way down those fucking hallways. Oh, I'll... <laughs> I'll move you later. It's fine. This uh, map's not up on the stream right now. Um, I root myself in the corner and cast light above my head. You root yourself in the corner and cast light above your head. You all can take a long rest. Your sleep is uneventful. Peaceful. Um, and in the morning, wow, unexpected. echoing through some of the chambers, you can hear commotion, yelling, arguing. It's hard to make out given that it's echoing off these long-ass hallways. Oh, Basil? Oh, boy, I better go check out what that commotion is about. Oh, yeah. As I head down the long-ass hallway. <laughs> but we'll continue this journey down the long-ass hallway next week. Because oh. we got nine minutes. We've only got nine minutes to go down a hallway. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to take, take that long. It's going to take, it's gonna take that long, yeah. <laughs> exactly. i got to make notes. Ask some guy about punchy book intrigue mm -hmm. for romance oh, novel. Here, I'll tell you what, I can even cheat there, Tyler. I just fucking move you through the wall. backside of the map. Whoa. There's water everywhere. Um, yeah, oh. that's, that's where we'll wrap for the night. We'll come back in a week to continue this and find out what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm sure nobody noticed or is mad about anything. I didn't, I didn't notice. trip any. You know, I've never caused the resurrection or release of any kind of supernatural being or anything. Never. At all. It's definitely mm. nope. Mm -mm. Uh uh. I probably this... didn't do it again. Nope. <laughs> no, Just never. remember, Basil, where were you last night? Grung's room. I was in Grung's room and I was also in the prison. Nope, 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 nope. We went to the tell library. Them, tell <laughs> them. Exactly... Oh, yeah, we went to the library too. <laughs> you were in Grung's room last night. <laughs> it's the truth. It's I just was. not the whole truth. Yeah, good luck. Did you with do anything Basil else? To commit to that. <laughs> yeah. Did you do anything else? You went to the library. Still yeah. technically the truth. Not you have a it. whole week to tutor him on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's literally impossible to get him to lie. <laughs> I, I'm not encouraging you to lie. I'm encouraging Just you to not tell them everything. Yeah, if they directly yeah. ask him, were you in the prison last night? Did you let him out? He's going to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Technically, do he that. didn't, Just though. Check. Aphid did. <laughs> oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. I mean, Basil you were there. feels like he's part Basil of did ask, do you want to be let yeah. out? Yeah. yeah. But he did not open the door. Therefore, he did not he let did, him out. Basil was the one that mm. technically let him go. Yeah. No? yeah. It'll be fun to see how Basil answer these. <laughs> because wow, while we're walking down totally this unbelievably long corridor, we're going to do our best to we coach him. You guys' only hope is just don't let me talk to anyone important. 
Uh, yeah. uh, this is where my super loud uvulation will come in. I will just shout the answers to every question. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in the prison? No. <laughs> I preemptively uh, cast laughing. I was definitely Hazel. not in the prison. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's that true. Worked. I was never in the prison. I love so, Dragon Door. Here's where we'll I wrap it. Go I'll on. answer the questions. There you go. There you go. That's true. Because um, mm-hmm. you weren't. Um, that's it. Okay. Saturday night. Because today's still Friday for another six minutes. Saturday night. We're scheduled for something. If I can't get enough work done. It's going to be weird frontiers. If I can get enough work done, it's going to be something different. Mm, exciting. Like the Monty Python skit? Something different. Oh. Uh, mm, something boy. completely different. That'll be cool. That'd because, be I don't know if people know, but I made a fucking game called yeah. Teenage Odyssey. And if you backed it, check your fucking email because the surveys should be waiting there right now. Hopefully. Oh, my not. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be doing more Dungeon Crawl Classics, Night Below. Um, Dan managed to explode an entire island full of (laughs) evil manta ray assholes. Um, They're like, we just got to sneak in there. We just got to, like, kill and kidnap or, like, pick one. After you put everyone on the island to to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Dan fucking... I, I don't know who he was, but it wasn't Dan's dice that was rolling that night. <laughs> oh, I um, actually rolled like six spells yeah. successfully in a row. Yeah, Dan's like, I'm just going to cast a couple little spells here. He's like, all right, I've got John, like eight. To loan him your dice again. Maybe. But Dan's like, all right, I got eight actions this turn. So let's see. I'm going to cast this. And I want to cast, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and cast sleep. It's not a big deal. And he rolled a natural fucking 20, which gave him the max result of 32 in Dungeon Crawl Classics, which meant that everything in 500 yards fell yes. asleep and could not be awoken until Dan gave whatever command he decided, and then it would wake everyone up. And what was the command, Dan? Uh, clap three times and then say, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, Dan rolled a hella good um, seal portal. I don't remember the name of the spell. Yeah. Something uh, like that. Where close it closed the fucking door. Closed the fucking yeah. door on the giant pyramid fountain in the center of this island, which caused it to pressurize and then explode, killing everything on the island. Luckily, the party had gotten off before the explosion exploded crazy i ruined everything again you did it was fantastic i wouldn't say ruined it was fun it was great (laughs) great uh yeah so that's wednesday we'll be back here friday uh other people talk about things uh check out the youtube channel if everything goes well there will be more pathfinder yes because we've got exclusive pathfinder uh actual plays that are on the youtube channel only so dub only Said Dan, say words. Uh, go to the Discord. It's the place where we have memes and frogs and movie things and stuff and other things and some guys, some gals even. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh, I do have a message from our sponsor, Synthico. I'm ready. All right. <clears throat> From Synthico, makers of Zing Exclamation Point Cola, comes a new refreshment designed to take the extra spice out of life. Whether your stressors are simple or your troubles are traumatic, come back down to earth with a refreshing glass of Zip, period, iced tea. Zip, period, iced tea. is full of Synthico's signature meta-natural ingredients designed to get you through the worst that life has to offer, be it a messy divorce the destruction of expensive equipment or body parts, or even the crippling existential malaise of knowing that God is dead because he couldn't take it anymore on the day you were born. (laughs) Zip, (laughs) period, iced tea. Coming soon to a psychiatrist's office near you. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect. That was. You like range of the products, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not going to be able to top that, so just goodbye. <laughs>